Scott Dorval with your Idaho News 6 forecast. I tell you what, if you've got outdoor plans this weekend, it's going to be pretty amazing, certainly to start as the temperatures have been comfortable, but it is going to be heating up. Here's a live view of the Boise River and we're looking at the wave here and you're seeing a few more kayakers here uh, taking their uh, turns here. Perfect day for it with temperatures in the 80s. As it starts to get hotter, this is actually going to be the place to be because remember that river's coming out the bottom of, of uh, Lucky Peak. And so it's cold water coming through and so it's cooling the air that's in contact with us. So floating the river this weekend is uh, still going to be just act just about perfect with 100 degrees and sunshine. Nice, but again, you still have to stay hydrated and keep the sunscreen right there as well. 85 degrees current temperature uh, in Boise. In fact, speaking of floating the Boise River, it's expected there's going to be a lot of people on the Boise River. And so the uh, fire department here on doing some training, just kind of gearing up Get ready for that influx of people. So if you are going to float the Boise River, just try to, again, be mindful of your surroundings and you just want to stay away from the edges. If you're by the edges and you see those all those tree limbs hanging over, you can't just reach up and grab onto a tree limb and stop your tube or your raft. It will flip and then you start to create some issues. So just keep that in mind and help out the firefighters so they don't have to be doing rescues over the next several days. But enjoy it. Look at the forecast here, the Boise Scott score planner. Uh, nine tomorrow because the temperature is still comfortable, but they just gradually sink all the way down to a five and a four, all because of the heat. We're talking the potential for 107 or 108 on Wednesday and Thursday. So that is excessive heat. Indeed, it is dangerous heat and OK. Yeah, I'm going to be out and by the water. Maybe so, but you just have to remember you got to keep yourself cool and stay hydrated. If you can stay in around air conditioning, especially during the main part of the day between say actually more to like noon to four. It's not 10 to two. That's a back east thing here. Our high temperatures reached around four, five, six o'clock. That's when it's hottest. So just keep that in mind. Uh, eight to 10 for my Scott scores for all these locations at events. Garden Valley, Lucky Peak boating looks amazing. Uh, floating on the river again, 100 degrees. Perfect. Glens Ferry, if you go into uh, Three Island Crossing State Park, uh, should be a little hotter there, of course, especially early next week. Had a lot of sunshine in McCall this morning. The breeze picking up on the lake. Temperatures going into the 70s. We go to back to the mid 70s tomorrow tomorrow for the 4th of July. Perfect weather and then into the 80s. And look at this by Monday 91 in McCall. You know it's getting hotter. So through the weekend through the 80s in the McCall area and those temperatures are on the rise as the heat builds in from the west. This is an excessive heat watch goes all the way to the Western Magic Valley here and this is in effect for Monday through Wednesday. Look at this 103 to 108 on Wednesday and probably Thursday and maybe Friday the entire west. He's already excessive heat uh, warnings here and as go up the coast even into the Yakima Valley and eventually we could have that over the Treasure Valley as that ridge of hot high pressure moves a little further to the east. Here's our hurricane barrel again passing now the southern side of of, uh, of uh, the island of Jamaica and it's actually going right along the coast now. It's kind of a worst case scenario track and that's going to create an issue because of the strong wind and we're going to see the effects of that tomorrow when the storm clears and the video comes out. So tomorrow a little bit of a breeze still but not as much as today. 90 in Boise, 93 degrees in, in the, the Weezer area and in the Central Mountains, Garden Valley 89, Riggins 91, McCall 77, Pine, you're going to be 85 tomorrow. Steady forecast 100 over the weekend, so 100 to 103 in most places in the valley. But look at this 103, 105, 108. So this is a new level of heat coming in here. That's for next week. Excessive heat continues Wednesday into maybe even Friday.